Today we're going to be speaking to you about something most of us take for granted. Our homes, a safe place to sleep at night, a roof over our heads. Right now, as we are speaking with you, one in four people across the world do not have adequate housing. That means 1.6 billion people lack the basic necessities that make us feel safe and provide us with a sense of belonging and dignity. And including in our community, in the San Fernando Valley, located just west of Los Angeles, there are 54,333 homeless people. These are the families I would see on my walk to school every day. Some of them I knew and some of them I didn't. But regardless, I knew they craved for a sense of belonging and dignity, to know where their next meal, shower, or sleeping place would be. Here in Baltimore, every night, 3,000 people experience homelessness. This equates to over 30,000 people a year. Although I've never been homeless, I can understand instability. Growing up, my parents could not always afford to pay the bills. We would have the water or electricity cut off when we couldn't make the monthly payment. I had to learn at a young age that life was about survival. I know what it feels like to be uprooted from my home and having to reconcile my identity. In 2008, because of our financial hardships, my family and I moved from LA to the San Fernando Valley. During this time, I felt a lack of sense of belonging. I felt displaced, which forced me to reconcile my identity as a Latina. You see, I grew up believing that Latina meant having to do mostly housework and kitchen duty. I thought it meant having to look after the little ones because of the motherly aspect I was expected to have. The San Fernando Valley is primarily a low-income Latinx community, and quite honestly, people that come from similar roots as me are not often associated with these ideas of success. As a young girl, my dad would come to me with a different story of success, a new source of inspiration, whether it be the story of Sonia Sotomayor being the first Latina justice of the United States Supreme Court, or a neighbor down the street who had been accepted to a prestigious university. I realize now that he was just trying his best to make me see myself in them to make me realize I could be them, to enable me to push aside any negative stereotypes that could and would come along. He just wanted me to be a dreamer. Because of the challenges we face in the San Fernando Valley, we were able to join a life-changing program that encourages girls to get involved in STEM called DIY Girls. DIY Girls, or Do-It-Yourself Girls, is a nonprofit organization based in LA with a mission to ignite and encourage young girls' interests in science, technology, engineering, and math, also known as STEM. We first became involved with DIY Girls when our calculus teacher, Ms. Violet Martirosian, encouraged us to participate in a summer coding camp. This summer coding camp taught us basic HTML and how to do art through coding. At first, we thought we'd only be learning how to code, but we quickly realized it was so much more than that. Our cohort was a group of young women of color young women who had experienced homelessness. We knew migration. We understood feeling like we don't belong. And this outlet was perfect for us. It allowed us to do what we had been doing our entire lives, solving problems, creating something out of nothing. It also allowed us to do something we hadn't been doing in a really long time. Instead of just surviving, we were learning how to thrive. When I joined DIY Girls, I was finally able to see these heroes my dad encouraged me to learn about become real. As part of this program, we met new mentors, Latinx engineers, people of color who were leading professionals in STEM careers and leading members in our own community, people like Luz Rivas, Evelyn Gomez, and Luis Luna. I felt encouraged to follow in their footsteps. I realized that a field usually dominated by white people, by males, by those with so much more money and resources than what we grew up with was attainable to me. I was able to be the change that I wanted. And this is our creation, a solar-powered backpack tent for the homeless. Our solar-powered portable tent for the homeless is designed to be easily fit into a backpack with minimal effort. Let's have a look at how it looks when opened. Homelessness is a problem, but you don't get the why or how can we help. So I think that this hands-on learning should be implemented in every school. Now that I know that I can learn all these things and I feel empowered in what I'm doing, I know that I can find solutions to problems like this. We learn more than just what a social problem is. We learned how to make a difference, and you can too.
it takes approximately two minutes to open and set up the tent. To provide safety and security, our tent was constructed with durable, water-repellent and UV-resistant material to withstand the LA weather. What makes this tent revolutionary is the practical ways in which it can help families in need. We wanted the tent to feel safe, clean, and useful for those without adequate housing. The tent is equipped with a solar-powered box that is designed to meet these needs, such as LED lights to provide lighting within the tent, UVC lights that sanitize and disinfect the inside of the tent. As a safety measure, a PIR sensor was coded in. In the case that motion is detected within the tent, the PIR sensor will, such, will shut down the sanitation system and allow the occupant to re-enter the tent. Also, integrated are solar panels and our battery pack that allow charging of various electrical devices through USB ports. Lastly, <laughs> we designed a rolling backpack that allows the tent to be easily stored and allows the occupant to move it from place to place. To make this prototype using a lightweight fabric and a full sanitation and lighting system, our cost was only $200. But if mass produced, it could cost just a third of this. Our tent is customized to meet the needs of the 1.6 billion displaced, homeless, and refugee around the world. For mobile populations, the weight and size of the tent can be adapted depending to local climate. This tent is more than just a tent. It is safety, shelter, stability. This tent is meant to provide dignity to those without adequate housing, something we all take for granted. If there is one thing we want to leave with you today, is that you have the ability to make an impact. It's not about where you come from, about the color of your skin, about how many zeros come with your paycheck. It's about where you're going, about how you take your circumstances to create, innovate, and dream the path that you want for yourself. Take a second to look around. View your world as a place with endless possibilities that are at your reach. There are no limits to your imagination, to your passion, or to your goals, because it all begins with you. If there is a problem in your community and there's no solution, seek one yourself. You never know how you will one day change the world. On behalf of us and all the DIY girls at San Fernando Magnet, thank, thank you. you.